So how do you install rubber gym flooring? What to expect from it? And how much can you actually get paid installing it? What's cracking? It's Michael Lauder here from CarpetExpertBlueprint.com and in this video, I'm just gonna break down the pros and cons of working with rolled rubber flooring. It is a trending product right now. A lot of people are starting to do it, so it's good to know what's going on and if you're an installer and you wanna expand your business into this or if you're the DIY type and you wanna go ahead and install this in your house, here's what you can expect. First things first, it's ridiculously heavy. We're doing a commercial project right here. These are four foot wide by 18 foot long sections of rolled rubber flooring, super heavy. We have, I believe, 18 rolls of this. So fortunately, I was able to work out a deal where they delivered it and got it up to the floor for us. And then we're just here to install this. Now, aside from it being really heavy, your first two to three pieces are never fun, just like vinyl plank flooring. It just takes a minute to get those lined up and ready to rock. But once you get those set up, you're pretty well good to go. Now me personally, I just glue the seams to go ahead and get that secured. I don't worry about doing a full spread on the vast majority of my installs. I just wanna make sure the seams are down so when they drag equipment across it, it doesn't catch the seams and really create a bigger mess than what is already gonna happen. Now, it is rubber flooring. It's not gonna be a perfect edge. So you could see I'm throwing a little duct tape to hold it into place until the glue cures for me. And once it does, you can go ahead and pull that tape off. Everything will stay down where it needs to be and you're good to go. But just be aware that it is gonna have small gaps. So you wanna apply pressure wherever those gaps are to get them together, throw a little duct tape on it, let the glue cure, hold it in place and keep pressing for it. You see, I did that little bubble there and pressed it together. That's the little technique. Now, here's the other thing trimming this and you will go through a million blades because if you don't have a super sharp blade it's not going to cut it's, a, it's literally thick dense rubber so it will kill your blade as fast as you start with it but just have a lot on hand be ready to rock and you'll be good to go let's talk about the financial factors in this uh, most of the guys actually we are probably the lowest price around and i should up that but what we do is on larger jobs anything over 500 square feet we're at a dollar a foot you could usually get those down in a handful of hours anything under that we do two dollars a foot i know it's kind of a weird slide scale that i set up there in my head but the reality of it is it takes just as much time to do 300 square feet as it does to do 500 square feet believe it or not so this was a 13 almost 1400 square foot room here that we had done everything goes down with the quickness all of your time in these types of projects are in trimming it in because much like a sheet vinyl floor if you hack a cut that's it yeah there's no turning back you have to get creative with your baseboard or eat a piece whatever the case may be but you can't rush the trimming that is the biggest problem with rubber flooring in my opinion other than that getting it unrolled lined up you know, other than tweaking a few gaps in it, that's it. You're good to go. Uh, one of the other things to keep in mind when you're installing rubber flooring, you will be dealing with higher end clients because it is a more expensive product. So with that, in mm. many cases, you're going to have to handle their fitness equipment. Not every job is going to be empty and ready to go. So you got to know how to price that, how to handle equipment. And if the equipment is too crazy for you to handle, you have to have resources on hand to either have the client handle the heavy equipment as far as breaking it down and getting it to out of the room so you can install and bringing it back in or hiring companies to do that and rolling it into your price. Either way, not fun. I am kind of lucky in this space that I am probably one of the few installers doing this in my area. So we're partnered with a company that'll handle the equipment for us. So like I said, just a good adhesive. You could get away with multi-purpose, releasable adhesive. They have their specific adhesive that they like for rubber flooring, but it is literally like spreading a ball of tar or a gumball. Nothing fun about it. So a lot of times I will improvise with the releasable adhesives, things like that. But that's it. It is a good moneymaker overall if you can get past the fact that this stuff is insanely heavy to manage and carry around. But once you get it in, you're ready to rock. You're getting paid, so you're good to go. This 13, 1400 square feet, whatever it was, it probably took us about six hours, six ish hours to get in. And all the time really was in all the cuts. You know, we had it laid out so fast. So you got to take your time around these little door jams here. This eats up a lot of time and the final cuts along the walls. Oh, and the other thing glue on the seams it does not take much to get the glue spurting out the seams there so you gotta be careful of that as well as you can see right here but you can just take the edge of your razor and you can run that right along the seam the glue gets cleaned up and you're good to go that's really all there is to installing rubber flooring if you have any other questions about this though go ahead and comment below as always i'll create follow-up videos answering your questions for you thank you so much for tuning in and i'll connect with you on the next